Hi guys, this is Lloyd from Bisfo with a short video on uh, invoice vouchers. Um, let me explain it to you uh, by showing you what the screen looks like. So when I go to my specials, I've created one already. For you to create one, I click your new button, give it a name, make sure it's active. And then this is the tick box we want to tick. So what we want to do is we want to draw customers back into our store. So the loyalty invoice voucher will be displayed at the bottom of the cash slip. Uh, it will be a 10% discount once they redeem them. This voucher will be valid for two days. And once this tick box is ticked, it means that they will have to repeat the entire um, order. So in a fast food change, it would mean that you bought your burger and coke. Um, if you list this, you can come back tomorrow buy that same burger and coke. But now you can get... Um, 10% off. At the bottom you can set it up for certain periods, certain day, happy hours um, as per normal and let's see what this looks like in action. So before I sell this item to get my loyalty voucher I just want to show you um, we can do it on the fly so there's a coke and a Fanta but on the print this is what you do um, only once. I'm just going to go to print. We've got a design cash slip sitting over here I'm just going to click that one and you'll notice at the bottom I've already populated so this will be our voucher it'll show up there the voucher code and I've just um, typed in some notes over here so these notes you can uh, type in as per your specific voucher or special that you're running All right good so let's see this one in action so we got items and we're expecting the voucher code to be on our slip I'm going to preview it and look at the bottom Okay, perfect. It's sitting over there, so the customer can now take this slip. So now they can come and redeem it. And redeeming it just means I can do my next sale. I do redeem my loyalty. I enter my voucher code. There we go. And there's the item. Uh, and as per our settings, it's listing the entire invoice with the specific um, discount voucher and the 10%. Good. Now I can ring this one off. And clicking on the preview this one will not generate a voucher as you can see at the bottom the voucher code um, as it's already been redeemed um, ach, guys I can just quickly show you what the other setting will do so on promotions specials we're going through the same one I do realize I am going quick but just uh, press the pause button if you want to see the screens here we go and let's just quickly have a look at this one so let's just get another voucher going here we go Let's have a look what the code is. I'm just going to show it visually. Perfect. So that's our voucher code at the bottom. Good. Now next up we want to redeem it. Into the voucher code. And there we go. There's our discount. You'll notice that um, I can ring it off. There is settings in, in our program options that will pre prevent a negative sale. In other words, you do have to ring up your item. Um, and there you go. That's a, a different way of setting up or drawing your customers back into the store for discounts. So guys, any questions on this, uh, please feel free to pop us a mail at info at